Hi, I'm Ben, and this is my review of Deadpool 2. Oh, and I really like it. I heard a lot of people have their problems with it, but I don't know what they are, so this is just my opinion. I really liked it. Um, people come back, Naked Sonic Teenage Warhead, Colossus. Also, Naked Sonic Teenage Warhead has a girlfriend. She's, I don't know if, like, she's somewhat has the same name as the character from Wolverine, but I don't know if it's just the same name or is she the same character or like two different characters, but but really, um, Spider-Man, sorry, it's the Spider-Man squishy guy, but really, I don't know what's going on with that character. Like, maybe it is the same character, she just has powers, yeah, so I guess spoiler alerts. Sorry, I don't know how to do non-spoilers, but anyways, Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Sorry, that was weird. Um, yeah, spoiler alert. Um, yeah, so she has powers in this version. Version, and I don't know. No. But anyways, yeah, she has powers in this version. The Yusaki, uh, Yusa, Yusa, so, so, I, I forget. Nigasan Teenage Warhead's girlfriend. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, in the beginning of the movie, it was, it shows him killing himself, like, exploding, but it gives, like, a backstory of what he's been doing, like, saving the world, and here and there. Well, not saving the world, just taking down a lot of bad guys. And making love to his girlfriend, and they said they were gonna have kids. I literally gasped. Now, remember, spoiler alert! I literally gasped, and I was like, oh! When... Oh, it's Ninja Turtle stickers. When they kill off Vanessa. Yeah, they kill off Vanessa. No, don't worry. She comes back from the dead. She sort of. At, it's at the men credit scenes, and I see people leaving the theaters. So I'm like, oh, they missed it. They brought back Vanessa from the dead from a time travel thing that Cable had. Yeah, and they did some fourth wall jokes with there. Like, they show X-Men Origins Wolverine, and they show the Blade things. You know, that stupid thing that everyone hated. Yeah, why did they give... Why did they seal the mouth? I don't understand that. But anyways, anyways... So he came back in time and kills that version of of Deadpool, and then he shoots Ryan Reynolds himself in the head by reading a Green Lantern script, and to stop that, yeah. Jeez, everyone hates Green Lantern. Well, the movie, but I'm sure the com yeah the comic books are fine. I I own some comic books, but yeah, look around what I have. So much posters. But anyways, Deadpool two. Oh yeah, so so what else? Okay, so there's that. But yeah, Vanessa gets killed off, and then he tries to kill himself, but he's immortal, so he can. Put his body parts together, and Colossus saves him, and he be, he trains him to be a, a X Men and trainee, me, and and then Negasonic Teenage Warhead comes, um, and her girlfriend, I forget her name is, it's Y something, and and. And Colossus is there also. The X-Men from the prequel series makes a cameo. I actually talked to a friend about X-Men and he's disappointed that they can't make they're not make they didn't make a movie that takes place because they rewrote the timeline in X-Men Days of Future Past and I thought that was Deadpool. Cause I didn't know Deadpool was a movie that wasn't canon. I thought I thought because of X-Men Days of Future Past, because they rewrote the timeline. I thought because of that, they rewrote Deadpool's origin story, because he has an origin story in the first one, and I thought because of X-Men Days of Future Press, they they erased it, all the events in X-Men Origins, kind of like because Jean Grey and Cyclops comes back from the dead, that because they rewrote the timeline, so I thought that happened to Deadpool and X-Men Origins. I mean, Mystique literally shapeshades into, into that guy, into Strucker or something, but anyways, after they, he goes on his trainee, they meet this kid named Firefist. Well, his real name's Russell. Russell, and they try to help him, but Deadpool shoots this guy in the head because they were torturing the boy. But 
Colossus had no didn't approve of that, so they both sent him to jail to this thing called the ice box. Yeah, at first I thought the ice box was like this big fridge to cool the boy's powers because he has fire powers, kind of like in that Avatar The Last Airbender episode. But anyways, they save the boy. The the boy in Deadpool goes to jail, and they're like, "You can't go here, like because there's this big scary thing." And what did they reveal it? Juggernaut. Yeah, and he's big and CGI, like I guess what fans want. Yeah, because I heard fans wanted to CGI at Apocalypse too. Yeah, it's weird. Some people want something to be CGI, and it's like, oh, there's too much CGI here. Why don't they use some practical effects? Uh, they should have CGI that. Why can't they just CGI that? It's weird. I guess there's some things that you can't, that has to be CGI, and there's some things you can't CGI. Like, I guess Juggernaut and Apocalypse, maybe, like, yeah. But, yeah, so... Uh, so, and I just read Ryan Reynolds does the voice of Juggernaut. Yeah, and he comes, and he comes to, and he comes to save the day, and fights, and teams up with Fire Fist, and tries to take down the school, but before that, that, and after that, he, he, he teams up, he starts X-Force. Yep, before they actually make an X-Force movie, we get X-Force in the Deadpool movie. And he hires these guys, and there was this joke about Vanishing Man, or the Vanisher, or Vanisher, or something, or Vanish, or whatever his name is. And it was Brad Pitt playing him. Yeah, it's weird, because they're like, the Vanisher. Oh, and Deadpool's like, oh, let me guess, he's not even there, because it's a joke, right? But no, he was really there, and he was just invisible, playing by Brad Pitt, of all people. Yeah. Oh, so Matt Damon makes a cameo. Yeah, this is... Yeah, he plays one of the rednecks that Cable interacts with. The Cable Matt. Yeah, that wasn't the... F this wasn't the first time he did a cameo. He also played the actor Loki in Avengers... I mean, Thor Ragnarok? You know in Thor Ragnarok where Odin... Well, Loki disguised as Odin. We're dressing up... We're watching this play about... About the events in Thor Ragnarok? In the events of Thor Ragnarok, so I mean, in the events of Thor: The Dark World, and Loki was played by, and the actor Loki playing the actor Lo, who was playing Loki in the play, he, that was Matt Damon. Yeah, yes. What is was Matt Damon doing cameos in Marvel movies? This is the second time it happened. I I I expect they might cast him as like a Marvel superhero. There's some Marvel superheroes he could play. Um, Huh. Well, most of them are kind of token. Well, there's Mr. Fantastic, but I heard Jim from the office come play him. Huh. Hmm. Maybe there's Nova, but they might use that other kid. I don't know what character he can play. I don't know. I'm looking at my Marvel poster over... Oh, oh, over... Right there. Right... Right there. Yeah, right there. My Marvel, po my Marvel poster. Yeah, I don't know what Marvel character you can he should play. If you think, if you want to know what, if you think, if you think of a Marvel character he can play, you comment below. But yeah, so, so yeah, him as a redneck and Cable. Cable was a good character. Character. He had a nice backstory, and the reason why he came back in time to kill, because if you saw the trailers and gathered everything, he comes back in time and kill and tries to kill Firefest or Russell as he calls himself. Of and because the reason for that, because if he's gonna kill the teacher, he gets a fondness for killing. So he becomes a villain and tries to destroy the world and even Cable's wife and daughter. So that's why he had to come back to save everyone. His daughter, his wife, everyone. So so that's why, so that was Cable's Monroe. But you know, there's not really any bad guys in here. Well, yes, there's Juggernaut and that, that head teacher guy uh, who you can consider villains. But really, for the whole movie, there was no really bad, there was no bad guy in there. There were just 
It was just Cable trying to come back in time to save everyone, and Deadpool saying, no, don't kill the kid, I bonded with him. Um, because he bonded with him in jail, and he's like, I can help him. Um, and yeah, there was really no villain in the movies. Yeah, I, yeah, there's an idea. Yeah. Because lots of superhero movies have villains. Like you mentioned, doing a superhero movie was no villain. Like, re like there's the Rescue Hero TV show that, that mainly saved people from danger. But yeah, so... Kale was awesome. The X-Force he teams up was awesome and funny. There were some predictable moments that, that I was like, Oh, this guy's gonna get hit by a car. Yeah, he's gonna get hit by a car. Because he landed in, on a parachute... The Peter guy with the mustache, he landed, and he was like, Yay, I'm okay! And I'm like, oh, they're just gonna hit him with the car, yeah, here it comes. And he was like, hey, go help him! And he walks away from the street, and it's like, oh, he didn't get hit by a car. He still got killed by the by the other acid throw-up guy, who throw up acid all over his body, and I'm like, oh, they did kill him off! But yeah, the movie was funny, it was a lot of, it, there was a lot of pop culture references and references to other things. Oh, I laughed when they said, I, well, I was finding this guy, but we stopped, this, I was finding this guy with a cape, who stopped, but we stopped because his mother's name was Martha. <laughs> How ironic, because the first Deadpool movie came out in February, and Batman vs Superman came out in March. So they did a reference to a to to a movie that came out a month later from the first movie it did. Oh, sorry, I I'm just just admiring this Incredibles poster I hanged up. I know that's weird, but yes, I mean I'm excited for Incredibles too. I I might review that after I review Solo a Star Wars movie. Yeah. I heard not a lot of people are starting to like it, but if you ask me, even if, because Star Wars is getting kind of its own cinematic universe with spin-offs in this, and so far the movies are starting to get diverse, like some people like it, some people like Star, some people like this movie, like Last Jedi, like some people like The Last Jedi, some people don't really like The Last Jedi, I and I think solo a Star Wars movie is getting the same feel, like some people are liking it, some people are hating it. But to be honest, if you ask me, no offense DC Comics, but I hear it's getting more... If you look at the Rotten Tomato scores between the DC Extended Universe and the Star Wars films like Last Jedi and Solo, they're a lot better, they're, they're getting a lot a more love than the DC Extended Universe. No offense buddy. Yeah, that sucks was a DC Extended Universe, because, oh, well, it's been 12 minutes, and I should, and I should be done there, but, sorry to dawdle off, but anyways, if I has to say, I'm disappointed that the DC Extended Universe and the Just League movie aren't doing so well, because, because, imagine if the Avengers movie sucked, yeah, that would suck, because, the Justice League ha has been around, and everyone knows who the Justice League are, and even if they haven't made movies of S The Flash, or Wonder Woman, or Aquaman, we at least knew them before they got made into movies and other media, and there were a reference in other pop culture, so... so and, every and I knew who the Justice League movies, not just because of watching the show, but The Simpsons referenced it, and ever since when the Avengers came out, people wanted to see, oh, I love the Avengers, I wonder how the Justice League movie's gonna be. And so can you imagine why I'm very upset? Like, I love the Avengers, but now I feel jealous of it, because, because I wanted the Justice League to succeed. Well, that's my review for Deadpool 2. Sorry I dealt a lot with Star Wars and DC Comics. But, hey, I'm... I hope the Aquaman movie is gonna be good, but also John, also I heard John Woo or something who reviewed, who said we don't want to release a trailer yet because we want to take our time. Yeah, I look up this guy's work and he did like The Conjuring and the Saw movies and those are horror, dark horror movies. I wonder if he's gonna make Aquaman. John Woo is to Aquaman is what John? I wonder if John Woo 
how he's going to do Aquaman is the same way as Tim Burton of what he did to Batman. Man, you know, not everything from DC Comics can be a darker tone. I mean, there's some things from, Mar from the Marvel Cinematic Universe that can be dark and serious and funny. Like, if you compare Captain America, the Winter Soldier, to Thor Ragnarok, they're kind of different movies, but they're in their own universe, even though if they're in the same universe. Well, that's my review of Deadpool 2. Sorry I did a lot at the end, I just had some things to say, and take care.